All right, we're going to look today at a case study of drawing a laptop table. You should be able to see an image of the laptop table here that I uh, drew in the very first video about what you need to do before you start drawing infusion. It's a little laptop table here. Uh, I chose that because it's got quite a few different features we can I can demonstrate uh, on fusion here. So the first thing I want to draw is the top of that table. Uh, it's rectangular in shape, so I'm just going to choose a rectangle. I want it to be uh, facing flat because if we look at that image then you can see the table's facing flat. It's not facing up or to the side like that. It's facing flat. So I'm going to draw it flat. So I click on that. Uh, I've already figured out all my sizes. One of the things I told you to do and uh, making sure all the things you do before you start Fusion is you need to know the sizes of the pieces that you want to have. So I've already figured mine out to be uh, 500 by 300. So I'm going to put those sizes in by typing in, pressing tab to get to the next one and hit enter when I'm happy with it. I don't have to do anything else to that sketch, so I'm just going to stop that sketch, click my little home button to bring everything back into view, and I'm going to extrude that with the extrude function here. Choose the shape that I want. I have already figured out it's going to be 20 millimeter pine, so that affects the thickness that I add in here. So I'm going to type in 20. That will extrude it to the 20 uh, in thickness, and I hit enter and there's my top piece of pine. I'm going to do a couple of other things to that, uh, but if I go into the bodies here, you can see that the first body there has been uh, added. I'm going to change the name of that, and this is good practice so you don't get lost later on, to top. That's the top of my table. A couple of other things need to be done to this. I'm going to show you one of those things in this video. I'm going to go to Modify and use Fillet. If you, you look back at the sketch of my original idea, it has curved edges, so I'm going to uh, use fillet to do that. So I choose an edge I want to curve. I'm going to choose this one and that corner and that one. Sometimes you don't need to hover around. I can see I can catch it there just by hovering over that bit. I'm going to make the radius about 20 millimeters. You can either type it in directly or you can drag it in like that obviously until it goes too far. I'm going to go for 20, uh, hit enter and I'm happy with that and that is stage one of my top. Okay, stage two, I'm going to add some slots into my top to allow air to circulate through for the laptop. I'm going to do that again with extrude. Extrude can be used as a cutting tool as well as to create material. Uh, the slots are just rectangular, so I'm going to click on the rectangle. At this point, I choose where I want to draw. Now, I don't want to draw on any of these three things here. I want to draw on the top of my piece of material, so I'm going to click on that. Uh, the slots, I've already figured out, I've done all the maths, uh, I want my slots to be 20 millimeters uh, wide, uh, not 220, and I want them to be 420 millimeters long. So I've figured that out already. Now I've put that there, that isn't accurately where I want it to be. So I can use something in Sketch called Sketch Dimension, and I can click on this line, and then this line, and that gives me a size. I can make that size any size I want to get things placed accurately. I've already done all the maths again. I've figured out I want it to be 40 millimeters from the side, and that moves that there for me. And one more sketch dimension. I'm going to put one here, one here, and I want that one to be 44. That's what I figured it out to be, so it's all evenly placed. And that has actually even uh, directly placed that nice and accurate for me. I'm not going to do any more sketching. Stop the sketch. I'm going to use extrude again, but this time I'm going to extrude this shape. Notice down here it says new body, but when I drag up it changes to join. When I drag up it changes to cut. If you drag through a material it will go red and it assumes you want to cut. If you go up it assumes you want to make new material and you want to join. We'll look at that again later on. I want to cut, I'm just going to drag it through like that, and then I have my hole. Now I want four slots in here, but rather than doing them all and figuring them all out, I'm going to go into create use the pattern tool, rectangular pattern, to uh, use that hole and create four of them. Now I want to create four of the thing I've just extruded. So if I go down to my timeline, there's my extrusion, click that. That asks me for an object, so I've changed it, chosen the object. I want a direction. I'm going to use one of these lines here as a direction, because that's the direction I want it to go. You see I get an arrow here, I'm going to drag that out. I want four so I changed that to four. Uh, the distance type I want, I've already figured out the space in each one should have in between it. So I've changed the space in there. I'm gonna change that to 66, because I've figured out, whoop, I have to go minus 66, because it's the other way. And that has spaced it exactly the way I've done it. Again, I've done all this maths already, so you would have to figure those things out yourself. 
I'm going to hit OK, and it's given me four slots exactly where I want them to be.